simple flying over Romania on board this NATO airplane. Now, from the inside, it looks almost like a regular, typical commercial aircraft. But this is, in fact, a Boeing 707 transformed into NATO's greatest surveillance weapon. It's dubbed the AWACS, short for Airborne Warning and Control System. And sticking out of the top of this plane is a rather peculiar-looking dish about nine meters in diameter. It lets this NATO team see events happening some 400 kilometers away, thanks to the radar technology, much further than any radar could possibly see from the ground. Now, to give you an example, right now we're flying over Romanian airspace near the Ukrainian border. But from this vantage point, we can see across Ukraine into Crimea, the Black Sea, and almost to the Russian border. And what they're seeing has NATO officials concerned. At times, large numbers of Russian military airplanes, surveillance jets, as well as vessels on the Black Sea. Now, so far, they've remained in international waters and international airspace, but they are hovering very close to the Ukrainian border. And, of course, that's a large part of the reason why Canada has sent six of its CF-18 fighter jets to Romania to patrol and police the skies there. And when they go up, this AWOC's team will have their back. Not only will it provide a larger eye in the sky, but also coordination, traffic control, telling them where and when to go. Now, the Canadian government pulled its funding for this AWOCS unit a couple of years ago, but more than 30 Canadians are still a part of this team. And one of them told me that uh, this team was put together in the early 1980s in response to the Cold War. And the type of behavior they've seen from Russia lately is all too reminiscent. Jeff Semple, CBC News, above Romania.